Jesus Christ, now what? It's that cowboy Marshall. Oh, I deal with him. Can I help you? Yeah, I'm uh, looking for Travis. Oh, yeah, he's out. Wait, you that cowboy they used to talk about, huh? I see you got the hat, the boots, the whole nine. Who are you exactly? Oh, I'm the gardener. Yeah, I'm just getting started. You must have to cut a lot of lawns to pay for those gators. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. You like westerns? Used to. Uh, well, you know how in a western, the guys that take to the street and they wait to draw until they're both set. Mm -hmm. You think that's really how they used to do it? Sometimes, maybe. The neighborhood I grew up in, we used to take to the street with our guns already out. Smart, smart. A lot can go wrong with a draw. Yeah? Well, sure. I mean, I mean, it takes practice to draw clean. Suppose your front sight catches as you're pulling. Or, uh... Well, now that went well, but suppose my thumb hit the mag release. Now as I'm raising my weapon, I hear all my ammo hit the ground. Hopefully I got one in the chamber, but... You gonna bet your life on that? It's too bad that Travis isn't here. You know that guy he house hits for Pinner? Yeah. U.S. Marshals owe him $10,000. $10,000? I'm supposed to deliver it to him. I was kind of hoping I could give it to Travis to give to Pinner when he gets back from the Keys. He saved me from having to go back out there. You, you got the money on you right now? No, I left it at the office. I mean, because I could hold on to it for you. You know, just to take it off your hands. What happened? I thought you were going to go all high noon on him. Oh, I am. Yeah, but he's coming back shortly with a big bag of money. Turns out, he just wanted to give Penn a reward or something. How big a reward? Five grand. That's going to split real great between the three of us. Now, the only thing is, you know, once we get the money, Cowboy, he got to go. So, uh, you, you got a place to bury him? So you're going to draw on him when he comes back here? Oh, I'm going to put a hole in his head. <laughs> 